what's up everyone it's Letitia I'll come back to that um, from berry fruit gardening I hope that everyone is doing well I am taking a gander of my garden this morning y'all this heat is beating us up now everything looks pretty decent back this way but disease everywhere like diseases sitting on leaves of plants everywhere not just the tomatoes but everything and I'm I'm just like I don't know what to do so my fig here this is little buddy he's a Chicago hardy fig I mean this is starting to happen I told you the typical diseases that I have in my area are blight and leaf spot and I do believe that's what's happening to him um, I'm not familiar with uh, the most common diseases for figs so I need to do a little research I've looked at videos before but y'all you you taking so much information and then it's gone but and then I don't know if this is the actual pattern of the leaf or if those little white spots are disease as well um, I'm not sure but this I mean it, it's just looking like this and I'm, I'm not really sure why or what's going on I've pulled some of the leaves off and they're gently coming off so they were gonna fall off anyway this leaf will not come off so I, I just I mean literally gently pull it like that and it and most of the leaves came off some of them are on the ground here um, my tomatoes are experiencing the same things um, I'm seeing leaf spot and blight of course um, but yeah it's just been so hot look at this the blossoms are drying up or falling off can y'all see that again it's just been so hot like 90 degrees all week um, we got one day where it was 89 but this is what happens when it gets so hot and then again, disease sets in on the leaves. Um, and so there's nothing you can do but manage it. Um, these suckers are everywhere and they're just chilling. Um, what does it mean when, like I'm seeing pollinators, like my bumblebees and things like that, sitting on like sunflowers or, um, let me show y'all a good example. This apple tree is just, is just, uh, completely covered in these Japanese beetles and but there is a pollinator or was a bumblebee um, just sitting on the leaves and not moving and it almost looks dead look at all these things it's crazy um, and look at Fred Fred is was beautiful and now Leaf, I know part of that is leaf rust, but leaf rust spreads really fast, y'all. And I let it go. I didn't clip the leaves because I, I just wanted to see. But it, it, if it would just fall off and be okay, or if I needed to prune too with Fred. But leaf, I mean, the leaf rust is all over him. Uh, Mr. Ellis is the same way. You can see the new growth there. Looks beautiful, but this leaf rust is taking over. The reason why I made this video, and it's entitled uh, Squash Bug Infestation, because I've had an infestation. And anytime you grow squashes or melons in the, in the family of squashes, you're going to have this issue, okay, uh, most of the time. And, and it's been my experience, especially in Zone 6B, you're going to have squash bugs. So you see that I have two pals here. This pal is bigger than this pal. I clipped these leaves off I took one complete plant up okay so most of that is one plant but I did trim individual leaves and most of these leaves came off of this plant and y'all see this is my scallop squash and it's the first one that I've got had grown that actually looks like a scallop squash and is surviving the other one um, you know again this has just been dropping fruit just like the dark zucchini let me take y'all over here real quick this dark zucchini is gone y'all it's completely dead not by lack of watering it just was overtaken by either i know squash bugs were on it um maybe a vine borer because the stem is looking real real crazy um yeah it's just it's crazy so let me go back to this pal i'm sweating like a crazy person it's it's so hot it's like 75 degrees already, but the humidity, 
Ugh. Okay, so yes, there is an infestation of squash bugs. So I pulled up most of these, but I wanted y'all to see them because they're in all stages, honey. Okay, I poured some soap water on these. They're going right in the trash. Um, but this is what it looks like. These leaves. Um, and I'm, and I'm seeing a trend or a pattern here. Okay. So these leaves, all of them look like a light yellow. They just don't look healthy, right? They look burnt or like they, uh, like there's a, uh, deplete, a depletion, depletion of nutrients. Okay. That's the first time, um, that I'm seeing. I mean, like sweat is dripping down my legs. That's how humid it is. Oh my God. Okay. So then you know you're not gonna know unless you inspect the plant and this is the part I hate I'm already expecting it but it just it still doesn't feel good <laughs> to turn over a leaf and see all of this let me show you squash bug eggs on almost look there's an adult squash bug right yeah okay and then look at all the babies the new babies so those died because I just poured soap water on them but there's more there's more in here they're just crawling around look at that one that's what the little squash bug babies look like there's another one yeah eggs everywhere and usually typically if you can notice the eggs are on the bottom side of the leaves look at this cluster of eggs Okay, so typically they're on the bottom side of the leaves, baby squash bug. But I've been seeing them on the top of the leaves as well. Okay, and I cut a few off of my uh, cantaloupes, a few off the scalp squash, a few off the dark zucchini plant um, until I discovered that it just, it was, oh, there was another plant that I had over here. Um, that's dark zucchini and it's dying so again patterns if they look sickly that's a first sign that there may be a pest okay and y'all can tell these are not dark green lush leaves they look sickly and then if it is a squash or in the squash family I mean this is anything like pumpkins yellow crookneck squash zucchini plants any zucchini they're all in the squash family my understanding is okay um, you need to check the bottom of the leaves because you're probably going to see this and again remember squash bugs suck the juices out of the leaves that's why they look like that okay they don't eat your fruit on the leaves but then they cause your fruit to look like this i don't even touch this anymore y'all but i'm gonna look at that because again the nutrients is being sucked out of this plant by these stupid squash bugs Oh my God, they're everywhere. They are everywhere. So, so how do you combat this issue? You have to inspect your plants. And I told y'all the other day, I was so sick of pulling off squash bug eggs that, oh, I'm sorry y'all about my finger, but I was so sick of uh, pulling them off that I just walked past one. I was so tired of looking at them. Like I was so squeamish. Um, y'all, I love to garden. I love the outdoors. I told y'all that. But honey, uh, I can only take so much of these creeper crawly things in, in one sitting. So I came back and got the other leaf, but y'all, they were all over these plants. So I hope this helps somebody to identify what a squash bug is, maybe the trends, um, the patterns of, you know, as you're looking at your plants, any plant, and not just a squash bug pest, but any pest, if, if you see a depletion, of nutrients it looks like the leaves are changing colors they're burnt up and that could be from the Sun itself and y'all it is just hot we have had a heat wave for the past two or three weeks and um, everything my sunflowers y'all but as I was saying if you see holes anything like that you need to check your plants okay um, but you know I've had some yes yeah, some blooms that are just falling off my peppers and and everything but look at this it's either something like completely trampled my sunflowers but all of them though are just falling over 
I don't know. Look like somebody broke those to me. I don't know if y'all can see that. I'm not going over there. I dusted my okra, by the way, with DE and the daggone June bugs are still there. I need to wash this off. Oh, but look. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm getting off topic. I know. Um, look at this bloom. I just can't, I can't pass that up. Y'all have to see that. It's beautiful. Okay, y'all, thank y'all for watching. I hope it really did help the video and um, that you all can learn from my experiences. I'm learning too, uh, but I really appreciate y'all checking checking out the video and stopping by. Thank you all so much. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Um, I'm going to go live soon in a few more days uh, because we got to talk about some things with these subscribers. Okay. All right. I love y'all. I love y'all. Have a great day. Bye-bye.